now we've got the SketchUp app on our desktop and we can run it. Just go in and make sure you're using the right dimensions in the template settings. Select architectural design in millimeters because that's what we need to use. Uh, they're the standards that are used in Australia. And then tick start using SketchUp. Okay, so that'll open up this interface and you can see we've got our tools up the top here and we've got a character giving us an idea about the relative scale of what we're working on. First, we need to get our tool palette sorted out. So we've got a larger tool set, which is better to work with. The rectangle tool, uh, just drag out a, a shape and just anything roughly for a room. And then we are going to use the offset tool, which is down here. F is a shortcut. Most of the tools shortcuts uh, the initial letter of the, um, the tool itself. But anyway, offset is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is drag and hover over the edge uh, of the perimeter of your object. Click and drag and it will give you an idea how far if you drag it in. Uh, you can type in uh, a dimension if you want to and down here where it says distance uh, that value will go in. So if I want my wall to be approximately 300 mils thick I can type in 300. Now I've got a, a wall and I want to extrude that up. So the push pull tool P uh, and hover over the face which is all joined together this one large uh, face which is our wall and just click it, drag it up. Now the height of our wall will make that, we'll type in 2400. It's a bit of a standard height in Australia. And now we've got a very basic wall in, around our room. Now hitting O for orbit uh, and holding shift down uh, and left mouse clicking can get you around pretty quickly and now you just need to position yourself so you can see one of your walls that you're going to place the windows on. So I'll just get rid of the character. I'm going to use this tape measure tool and I'm going to click on this edge and drag out and go 500, half a meter. I'm going to do the same from this edge. Make sure I'm actually going up on that blue axis rather than some other axis. So I'll just go up about a meter and so they're up a meter high and I'll just go down uh, 200 from the roof. So now I can put my windows in and I'll just quickly trace one window out and that can be approximately, I'll make them nice and big, I'll make them uh, about a meter and a half or two, 2,000 wide. And then, yeah. So that's my first window. And now I want to repeat this over and over. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this window, the separate little lines that make up my window. I'm going to right mouse click and make a group. Then hit M and hit option on a Mac. Click the bottom corner there and drag it to the end. Now if I type in forward slash three, it'll create an extra couple of windows there. So if I, uh, I probably should have gone with four, so I'll just go same again, M and option and click and drag. And then forward slash four. Okay, so that's looking good. Right, so now I need to cut my holes where my windows are. Now, uh, I can use the push pull to tool and hold the tool till it hits that edge and then click and it cuts a hole. Um, there's a problem with these other windows. They are groups and so they behave a bit differently 
than your standard object. Uh, so we need to break them apart and they're being a bit difficult and not letting me select them. So that one's, but I'll just show you now it's all selected, right mouse click and you just have to exp um, explode it. So select it, right mouse click, explode. Select it, right mouse click, explode. And once you've got them off, then it's going to be really straightforward. That one's just a duplicate of the original. You dragged it up and you hit M and an option, so that's a duplicate. So now, um, now it should be really straightforward. All you need to do is get the push tool, grab a face, oop, grab this face with the push tool, drag it, hold over that edge, click. Now, double click the other faces and you've cut your five windows.